The people of Maruchador should be proud of their municipal government. This Australian city implemented the nation's first automated subterranean garbage collection system. Waste now travels at up to 70 km per hour through pipes to leave the city centre and arrives at a designated station after 6.5 km. According to reviews, the system spans 53 hectares and by 2024, it is intended to link new construction. It is anticipated that the system will be finished by 2041. However, not every project is so easy. Teams of experts, builders and engineers frequently have to start from scratch. Dane Fina Cooper intervenes in this situation. Dedicated to the activist and supporter of Maori rights from New Zealand, this is one enormous tunnel boring machine, measuring 130 meters long and 7.5 meters wide. It wouldn't even fit on a football field when fully completed. Its powers correspond to its size. At a cost of $13.5 million, Dame Fina Cooper drills tunnels at a rate of 32 meters each day. Scientists recorded 13,654 earthquakes with a magnitude of four or greater globally in 2020. Thus, for many nations, building earthquake-resistant foundations is an essential responsibility. Consider Japan as an example. The majority of the seismic energy is absorbed by specific dampers, and lead, steel and rubber layers are used to insulate buildings from the ground. As a result, there is hardly much horizontal movement when shaking. When there is an earthquake, it is frequently safer for the occupants of the buildings to remain indoors rather than running outside. Buildings that are earthquake resistant are also being developed in the United States. For instance, Simpson's strong tie could mimic many earthquakes up to a magnitude of 7.5. To test the system's dependability during the tremors, they built a 2,137 square meter high-rise structure. Those subsurface irrigation systems, according to the manufacturer, can reduce water consumption by as much as 70% when used to directly water plant roots. Bid farewell to problems with wind and leaves burning from condensation. Furthermore, conserving water has an additional benefit. In soil that has been overwatered, many plants' roots might rot and become more vulnerable to numerous diseases. Triton SWS manufactures systems for filtering, storing, and regulating water. These systems are assembled in a manner reminiscent of Lego, with holes on each arch to hold the subsequent one in place. Eco-friendly soy-based resins are used by Triton SWS for their arches. The system can survive up to 120 years, according to the manufacturer, despite its unusual design. It can be installed in two or three tiers, making it adaptable and appropriate for putting beneath parking lots or driveways. Up to 21.8 tons of load can be supported by the arches. Geotextile and Geogrid can also be used to seal the system. The security system in VC Fence is another well-liked option that works well for a variety of establishments. Notifying the owners when someone trespasses on their property, whether it be a farm or a prison. An underground cable with sensors and a concentrator makes up Invisifence. Since the cable is hidden, it cannot be found. Jumping and digging won't help because the system will detect them. But the device won't sound the alert if it detects birds or animals weighing less than 30 kg. Clients can effortlessly modify the system's sensitivity and other characteristics. In the meanwhile, the SafeStone system's developers guarantee lethal precision. It can monitor vehicles within a one kilometer radius and detect human footsteps up to 300 meters distant. For a maximum of three months, the sensors function independently and the intelligence system quickly shows the coordinates and the direction of the intruder's movement. These subterranean rain collection and wastewater storage systems can be installed inconspicuously. They are not as strong as Triton SWS systems but they still have benefits. For example, the Pipelife 5000 tank at just 0.9 meters high is perfect for shallow installation. 
To extend the system and handle larger loads in the meantime, NDS tanks can be connected to one another. Warmly Yours regards itself as the industry pioneer in radiant heating technologies, installing them outside in addition to in residences. There are two options available to you. To protect asphalt and concrete from snow and ice, use mats or cables. Although mats are simpler to install, wires work better in situations where the pavement or road is twisting. The average cost of 105 per square meter of heated road is high, nevertheless. Alternatively, you can use Wi-Fi to control the device and program it to activate automatically in inclement weather. We found another fascinating project next to the Tideway Super Tunnel, located beneath the city. We are discussing subterranean growth the first urban agricultural underground in history. Massive trenches didn't require to be dug, even though it was almost in the center of London. This farm, which grows year-round radishes, arugula, celery, and other valuable crops, was once an air raid bunker during World War II. Produce production exceeds that of a normal farm by 24%, and the 528 square meters of area produce an astounding 60 tons of vegetables a year. In 2025, experts estimate that London's population will reach 11.3 million. However, due to rising land costs, corporations and individual homeowners are aggressively beginning to construct underground spaces. In only the city centre, more than 2,000 additional basements have appeared in the last 10 years. When large engineering teams handle these projects, they take on an extra significance. Regarding the subterranean Lou Gardens, what is your opinion? Artificial flora and recyclable trash from the Thames banks were used in its creation. Despite this, the garden's creators went to considerable efforts to make it smell and even make noise. Lou Gardens, located 50 meters below ground in the redesigned Tideway wastewater system, is evidence of the technology's positive environmental effects. When Tideway is finished and running, actual plants will adorn the banks of the Thames. Let's now examine a few widely used technologies. TLS, a British corporation, helps drivers park their cars covertly so as not to annoy pedestrians and attract attention. It's an easy process. TLS specialists install an elevator. When there is an underground garage or parking spot, the driver can remain behind the wheel thanks to the base model's 18-meter ascent capability. On the elevator's roof, you can also drive or stroll. These subwoofers will provide a satisfying conclusion to our selection. They are a component of a landscape speaker system, which enables you to spectacularly enhance events in parks and squares with a variety of sounds. Additionally, they provide an amazing audio experience in a private garden. These landscape subwoofers are capable of handling low frequencies, just like ordinary subwoofers. For example, the subwoofer models in the Burial series are impressive. Their frequencies span from 28 to 125 hertz, and their speaker diameters range from 20 to 30 centimeters. Hydra U is used by experts to evaluate the risk of landslides and examine underground mining areas. There is enough room for this radar to fit in three suitcases. Very simple to use, even for one person. The radar is outfitted with cutting edge AXA technology, which modifies data according to temperature humidity and other variables and updates data every 30 seconds. A 3D model has the acquired data draped over it, facilitating a simple and quick examination of the circumstances. Concurrently, the Tilt Ranger drone comes in useful for investigating tunnels, mines and other such areas. It moves on the ground in addition to flying. Its operating speed is excellent. For example, a Tilt Ranger drone scanned a detailed region of 30,000 cubic meters in under 10 minutes. Are you familiar with the Hyperloop concept? This is Elon Musk's concept for an autonomous vehicle. Even though it's still a ways off from being used extensively, SpaceX holds contests to see who can design the most stylish transport pod. There's plenty to look at. 
In 2019, for example, the German team from Tom Hyperloop won the tournament with a pod that clocked in at 463 km per hour. In 2018, Tom Hyperloop became the first person to ride the Hyperloop in Europe. With a pod that could reach 457 km per hour, another German startup called Hyperloop won. Once the nuclear shelter, Pionen White Mountain is currently the location of a data center. With more than 1,100 square meters of area, there is more than enough room for all the equipment needed at the 30 meter mark. During their breaks, employees can enjoy a greenhouse and artificial waterfalls. A special warning system made from components of a German submarine is in place for emergencies. Pion and White Mountain has undergone extensive renovations, but it is still capable of withstanding the blast of a hydrogen bomb. The location of this amazing data center is in Stockholm.